everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian Genius, and this is part two of Deal Ground. We're going to get through the game today and kind of do like a little rough overview once I get through it. How I know I'm going to get through it is this will be my second time recording this as I lost all the footage from the original. We're going to do this lovely puzzle right here and keep the little dude from scaring us. The puzzle is the absolute worst. When we hear that noise, that means he's gonna come get you. These little gremlin fingers. Turn these on. Now we do this. No. This. This. Boom. One. I heard him. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you. One way or another. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Okay. Remember this. This right. Do this. You can do this. Do this. Yeah. Getting better at this puzzle. Did I just scare him? I think I did. That's super lucky. So, I'm going to try to be true to the reactions that actually happened. Nope, nope. When I played through this earlier, uh, yesterday actually, when I found out the footage was gone today. Oop, he's over here. Because the last part of this, which you will see here shortly, is infuriating. Boom, boom. Yeah, see, I'm getting better at this puzzle. And he's over here. Boom. See? Progress. Yes, yes. Progress is good. If you like progress, I'm going to turn them all on. We're going to do the two outsides and the middle. There's another one. He's over here. Boop. Got him. Boop. I think I turned the wrong one. I turned the wrong one. Turned the wrong one. All right. From this position, turn them all on. And then we do. We catch him with the light because he's a creeper. And we got it. Boom. This will get us the bolt cutter tool. And now we have to avoid Lumen like the plague. This, there is no checkpoint between that puzzle, getting the key out of here, and everything else. There is one checkpoint at the last little bit, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Lumen? Look, we are right here on the cusp of victory. Will not have it stolen from the likes of you. There's the key, and there's Lumen. This has to be, I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, I played the first one a little bit way back when, but I haven't played any since. And I, I kind of feel like Lumen is the torn up Foxy, I think, when Foxy's like all like metal exposed and everything. I feel like that's Lumen in this game, because I hate him with a fiery passion. But we're going to take our little bolt cutters. Not in there, because this is where that guy is. We don't care about... I swear, every time he comes on the screen, my butthole just yeah, tightens up. Not... Just because it's such a setback. in the margin... And sometimes he'll just clip through the door. As you're like almost the door, he's like, surprise, I'm here, kind of thing. You're like, oh, cool. You just ruined everything. Here he is. Observer. Observer is a relatively cheap robot I bought for spare parts. Observer acts normally around humans, but very aggressively towards robots and moves only when not watched by one. Also, it seems easily blinded and disoriented by a camera flash. I'm planning to dismantle it soon before it does more damage. He is horrible. Going on the little lift. Lift to the right. We go lift to the left, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Just kidding. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna plow on ahead. Alright, I need y'all to prepare yourself. This checkpoint. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this checkpoint. Alright, we go in here. Grab a camera. Dump the bolt cutters. You know what? We're gonna dump the lantern too. 
We're going hardcore mode. Oh, look. The bane of my existence. How about... Oh, shit. Yeah. We're going to grab the key. And now he just disappears. And you're like, oh, that's not so bad. Why are you complaining? Well, the lights are going to flicker. And there he is. Now what do we do? Oh, that's right. Nothing. We just run. We leave the key in the lock and we run to the room over here. And he has a horrible habit of glitching through the walls, just magically appearing like the Lucky Charms character he wants to be. But he is not selling Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, not a sponsor. Surprise. There are no magical little bits of marshmallowy goodness on him. Look at his form. He is a coat rack with arms. We're going to flash him again. Just a big old boop. We're going to move on over to this again. And the longer you stay away, the, long, the more it resets down to zero. So hopefully we can get it to 100 before he shows up. Yep, see how, see how close he got? I kid you all not. I spent 20 minutes on this part last time. And I raged. Oh, how I raged. Maybe I will put in some of the footage from the... Because I got the, the camera footage of me raging to kind of spruce this up a little bit. Give you a little, uh, little taste of the anger and the hatred I have towards the Observer. Y'all think I thought Lumen was bad. This guy... And I'm trying to keep my language under control. This guy is the worst. How the Who's hated the Grinch on Christmas? Not even close to the hatred I have for this Observer guy. I almost quit playing. Yeah, like, because of that, like, right there. See? See how close I was to almost finishing? To get up this elevator and see what's on the other side? No. Go back to this room. Not stand near the door, because if you're near the door and he decides to blink in, you're dead. You can start over. You have four or five seconds from when you flash him. Well, he's safe to move fast. All right. This may be it. Feeling good. Feeling good. All right. Yeah, right on the money. But I got to wait for my camera. Boom. Flashed. All right. We're going up. Boom. Victory. All right. Because I didn't bring my light, I can't really look at this room. But we're escaping. Boom. We did it. We are free. Dick, the scrap robot left in the basement, has been freed. And this time is completely wrong. <laughs> Two deaths. No. I was like 14 deaths. And I actually did caught back up to where I was supposed to be on a break at work. So, uh, just kind of like a quick review of this game for y'all, if y'all are curious of what I thought. I thought it was a pretty good, well done game. I thought the puzzle with the switches, the first couple times that I did it was excessively long. Having to do that five or six times to get that wire cutter was kind of nuts. I like the mechanic, though, in that same point of getting the little guy to hide from the light. I thought that was kind of cool. The Observer, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm going to put in some of the footage of how much I hate him because he was glitching all over the place. He would get me when he wasn't even in the room. Just the mechanics behind it. There needs to be a little more warning or a little more leeway where he like pops into the room and gives you a second to flash him or look at him because, oh, that part was horribly frustrating. But overall, it's a pretty good game. It's a couple bucks on Steam. You should definitely check it out. I actually talked to the creator, developer of it on Reddit for a little bit. He was trying to get some people to play it. I told him I would. Uh, so, you know, go support the small devs. They do the Lord's work, putting out great content. Uh, hopefully he will watch this, maybe tweak a little bit. Uh, I definitely hope he keeps working on this game or, you know, works on another project in the future and lets me know because, you know, overall I really enjoyed it. Hope y'all do the same. Uh, if you want to, you know, just talk about the game or a game that you think I should play next, leave me a comment down below. If you like the little rage profile or uh, what you saw me do in this game, uh, just consider giving me a thumbs up. And with that, I will see y'all in the next one.